West Ham have stepped up talks over a 15 to 20 million and it could rise deal for Ron defender Naif Aguerd. Reports suggest that the centre-back has emerged as West Ham's primary defensive target to solve our defensive woes, having been caught short this season due to lack of depth in the centre of defence. We've had several injuries and, of course, the Zuma situation is playing out right in front of our eyes. The Moroccan international has been on the radar of West Ham manager David Moyes for over a year and apparently the rumour is and the reports are suggesting that a 26-year-old is extremely keen to move to West Ham and London. And a deal is expected to happen very soon. So normally in these circumstances, we can work out the genuine links to ones that have a real strong chance of going through. And we can put this up there with a strong possibility. Now, again, let me reiterate, things can change. We have seen things like this happen before, but sometimes you can put two and two together and work out the final result. And we believe and are pretty confident this one could go through. Moyes is said to have wanted a centre-back who can provide balance on the left-hand side as well as a bit of pace. Aguerd offers that in abundance. And he's also technically very good footballer and very decent in the air. Averaging four clearances a game in the French top flight and ranking high for assists as a centre-half, he clearly has a talent to make the switch to the Premier League. And it and it's believed that one of the club's current options was will still be moved on in order to accommodate this deal. But I don't know who would move on for him. I mean, the rumour is we can put two and two together again and come up with maybe he's the D-op, might be heading out the door for that. Um, and we're, you know, reports are suggesting it could be anything between 15, 20, 25 million that could bring the man in. Now, he earns about 9k a week and he netted two goals and registered two assists in his league outings in the most recent campaign. He averaged four clearances per game, winning 62% of his total duels. His ability in possession um, could also prove hugely beneficial to David Moyes as he ranks in the top 10% for passes attempted and in the top 16% for pass completion among those in his position across Europe's top five leagues. Now, there's a comparison, and that ball-playing ability that he offers means that West Ham could potentially have our own Gerard Piquet on our hands, you could say. That's the biggest comparison that people make Aguerd to. Um, they, they're noted to be quite similar because statistically they're very similar and their style of play is extremely mirrored when you look at both of their performances. So, you know, when Gerard Piquet plays for Barcelona, he's at the age of 34 and he may, lo mo lo may no longer be at the peak of his career. Um, it's a guard who has 30 um, tackles uh, in a season, which is more than the, um, uh, Gerard Piquet in, in, in his league. Um, in, in, in La Liga in the 21-22 season and he comes out on top with interceptions made from the top five leagues as well and he's established himself as Ron's key defending defender during the last campaign and although he still has several years left on his contract they may be open to cashing in on one of their most prized assets especially after West Ham have been chasing them for such a while and something that's quite interesting when you look at these players and look a little bit more in depth is that there's always a likelihood that perceptions of your ability will not match reality things like clean sheets and goals conceded will almost certainly make you look bad and even if you're able to beat all that to earn a positive reputation bigger teams may still think twice about committing to bringing you in to your team but for Aguerd, this may have been one of the main reasons why he never got respect he deserved when he previously played for Dijon. Admittedly, he didn't get a lot of game times due to injuries. Now, not awful injuries, might I add, but he was regularly injured when he was with Dijon. And the season came to a premature end in the 2019-20 season due to the pandemic. However, in the games which he did play, there were several signs there that he was a diamond in the rough. And we all know David Moyes likes a diamond in the rough. Whenever he played, the Dijon defence looked a lot less vulnerable. The quality of the build-up was elevated because he was so dominant in the air. 
um, and that affected things in both bo both boxes. You know, Ron were, and when then when he signed for Ron Rens, they were playing in the Champions League and they were getting Champions League football for the first time in their history. So going from Dijon to a team playing at such a high level was always going to be a huge ask for a player of a guard, but he handled it brilliantly. The Champions League campaign was forgettable, but their new defender still performed admirably while consistently delivering fine performances in League 1. In fact, he played pretty much most of the season and finished that season with more appearances in all competition than any other season of his professional career. And it's evidence of his quality and he was able to quickly become a key member of the side in just his first season, despite quite a large jump up in standard. And as a result of his performances, he was nominated for the Mark Vivian Fowey Prize, awarded to the best African football player playing in the French Football Championship. He's impressed for his country, Morocco, at the African Cup of Nations, and he has several caps for them as well. Um, the French media like him, a lot of pundits in France like him, and it looks like this man is coming to our club. So I've got a little video for you to go and check out. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll come back and discuss them a little bit more. Here's all you need to know about Naif Aguerd. <laughs> Going to pick up on one of the last points there, and I know there's one spelling mistake in that video, so apologies for that. But he is a great passer of the ball, and he really is. He is really calm and collected on the ball, but he can find a pass from distance. No ifs or buts about it. Cross, switch the play completely, and he can pinpoint pass. And he is a left-footed centre-back as well. So he is really calm on the ball, and I think that's something we definitely, definitely have missed for such a long time. He's a big lad, though. He is a big, big lad. Six foot two. He's still not as big as... Anton, of course, because I'm six foot four, but yeah, six foot two, 26 years old, central defender, born in Morocco, had a contract um, with Ren until 2025, like I said, reportedly earning £9,000 a week. Um, he started his youth career at the Mohammed uh, Football Academy in Morocco before moving to FUS Rabat in Morocco for four years, playing 75 games with six goals. He then moved to Dijon in France, playing 29 games in four goals. And you could say a forgettable time at his career, but he was the standout diamond in the rough player for them before moving to Rennes in France, playing 80 games, seven goals and four assists, where he does really come out on top of the, the, the stats for Rennes. Um, he completed in last the, the, the last campaign just under 2,000 passes, just over 1,700 carries of the ball, 152 clearances, 108 advantages won, and 54 interceptions. That's ridiculous stats 
for a centre half. People can say, well, he's going to be playing in a in a harder league in comparison to League In, but you know, there's still some top quality teams and week in and week week out facing Mbappe, facing Neymar, facing Messi. You know, there's no mean feat there, you know. So he can obviously stand up to the the uh, the, the, the equation. He is an international as well from Morocco. Um, and uh, made his debut back in 2016. He's got 19 caps, one goal for them, and he's represented them since the under-20 um, youth stages all the way through to the senior team. He's won Moroccan Cup, he's won the Moroccan Champions, and he's got the African Nations Championship under his belt as well. He defends from the front foot. He is a left-footed centre-back with great technique and a great passer of the ball. Bringing him in for me, is a no-brainer. I love it. He's kind of come out of the radar. Yeah, he's been linked to West Ham before, but you know what? You can throw so many players at a wall and eventually someone will stick. Um, so nobody wants to take credit for it. But the point of the matter is, if we bring him in, I think he's going to add not just to the squad, but challenge for the first team position. And I think he will make a big, big difference and really step up to the Premier League. He really looks like a proper Premier League defender as well so this one excites me this one's got the potential as well to to, to, to really make a good goal his career so hopefully we've unearthed that diamond in a rough even though we may have to pay upwards of 20 million quid but i think he'll definitely do a job for west ham leave your comments in the comment section below please leave your thumbs up if you are new around here and you're interested in becoming a channel member you can also click the membership program as well but if you have please leave a comment and we will get back to you at the end of the show stay safe and thank you for watching come on you irons It's like a family tree, all of you.